17 minutes away from 8 a.m. And now we're going to tell you what your day has in store for you. Because I have with me now in studio Linda Crystal. And she's here Monday through Friday with me telling us about romance and wealth and what the stars hold for you. Good morning. Good morning, Winston. How are you this morning? morning? Everybody. We're just wonderful. The sun is shining on oh, yeah. you. I mean, can you really imagine that it's going to rain today, possibly? With possibly. The sun being out? Yes, possibly. I mean, it looks great. Let's hope that <laughs> the for say that. forecasters are wrong because usually they are. Um, but we always start the morning off talking about celebrities and their birthdays. And uh, whose birthday is today? Our uh, happy birthdays go out today to Raymond Burr, who is uh, a friend I own sites. He was 76 today. 76? Yes, he's getting up there. So he'll and he be still home. gets around. I mean, he's so. still Perry Mason to everyone. That's he still right. does those uh, specials. And uh, he looks pretty good, even though he is still a little bit overweight, excuse the expression, but uh, he still looks good. We talked about that this morning, and we tried to think of what other things Raymond Burr had done. And when you when you go back into his career, it's like there's a blank. The only thing you can really remember him for is Terry Mason. That's true. <laughs> Even though he did do Ironside. Yes, that's true. That's true. And our other birthday goes out to Peggy Cass, who is 69 today. Okay, and you have to refresh my memory. Peggy Cass. Isn't Peggy Cass the lady that does the uh, the uh, the tissue commercials? Okay. Okay, and sings? Or am I, is that Rosemary Clooney? Am I, am I mixing that up a little bit? Okay. Peggy, Peggy Cass. Cass. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also want to talk today about the eclipse. As uh, everybody knows, today we have an eclipse, and I called the uh, planetarium, the Ferguson Planetarium, and I got exact uh, times for you today. And it does seem like there will be a partial eclipse of the sun that will be visible from our area. Again, the caution is do not look directly into the sun because, of course, it can do damage to your retina. Um, use uh, the uh, filtered uh, lenses, like a welding lens, for example, might be very good. And also, if you want to contact one of the science departments or the universities, they will tell you a little uh, contraption to hook up there so you can look into it from the back. When, um, when does it actually take place today? It starts at 10.06 a.m. That's the actual time when we, <laughs> we discussed uh, the, uh, the Greenwich Mean Time and then the difference of the hour, but it is 10.06 a.m. And also the peak of that particular uh, eclipse will be at approximately 12 noon. It will be of a four-hour duration, mm -hmm. so it will be going on for quite a while today. But again, do not look directly at the sun because you can damage your eyes. Okay. Any more tidbits of information? Well, because, the, um, because of the eclipse, of course, I had said that there would be uh, windstorms. Now, what you want to watch for, and, and this is uh, right up until midnight tonight, Okay, throughout the, uh, throughout the Midwest and the eastern coast and the Arctic regions are going to be where these particular windstorms will erupt. Also, the other things that will be going on along with this eclipse will be power out outages. I don't know if anyone has seen yesterday on TV that uh, Big Ben in London uh, was not working. You might see these different types of scattered uh, things happening because of the interruption of the energy level of the sun. Um, also, what you're going to find is, again, air crashes, a military strike within the next 24 to 48 hours, or intervention in some particular way. Again, the air sign of Gemini and also Leos will be affected by this eclipse. I do want to point that out. There will be changes of communications, for example, within those two signs. Um, for, uh, uh, for one example, uh, you might get a letter, you might get an emergency letter, you might get a telegram, you might get a phone message. Um, there might be uh, an unexpected visit from a relative, immediate relative coming in. For Leo's, the same applies. Also, transportation changes. You might have a breakdown of an automobile or a vehicle today, and you may decide that you may need new transportation or take optional transportation. Okay. That's a lot happening today. Yes, it is. Any more? Yes. <laughs> we, have had, uh, we have had three planet changes, actually, today. And I will tell you that uh, the sun has now transgressed into uh, the sun of Gemini. So, therefore, the next month, the focus is going to be on Gemini, folks. And uh, this is your time to shine now. All kinds of communication, reading, literature, uh, schooling, getting out into the public, visiting the relatives going on little jaunts, whether they're uh, shopping trips or whether they may be other little visits. But you
you will find that there will be a flurry of activity going on. This is the time when the sun and the weather does get warmer and everybody wants to be out and about. So traffic will be heavy, and of course today is Friday, so be careful in your travels at this point because there is a focus on communications and transportation. Along with that, the moon has also gone into the sign of Gemini, which is going to make our emotions very scattered. We may have so many things we want to do, and we don't know how to get them all done. So calm down, relax, take one step at a time, and you'll get all of these activities finished. Okay, I think we have a caller waiting. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Okay, I think that caller, <laughs> that we kept waiting too long. Our talk pack okay. number is 822-1204, 822-1204 if you'd like to speak with Linda, and we won't keep you waiting. Uh, any other tidbits of information about today we should know? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, um, there was a major, another major planet that had changed into the sign of Pisces today, which, as everybody knows, my sign is a Pisces. <laughs> we have to bring that out to light because as I'm doing this, I'm going to give a many readings here for the Pisces people. I will say that this is going to be a stabilization effect for the sign of Pisces. A lot of people have been calling in by that sign, wondering when are things going to change, when are things going to brighten up. Well, actually, right now, you're going to be pushed to shove to do a lot of hard work and become stabilized, focusing on areas of career and also real estate. This would be the time to move those major purchases around, either buying a piece of land or selling a piece of land. <laughs> And anything of the earth and our environment at this particular point is going to be activated. Many more uh, uh, groups are going to come to the forefront to help the environment. Now is the time that the government is definitely going to get on those health and medical issues um, that we have been hearing about. Saturn is the teacher, and it makes us work very hard. It is also standing for the government. And at this point, the sign of Pisces, which is a health and medical type of sign, is definitely going to bring the health issues and, of course, the plans that the government is talking about. It will add stabilization to careers. I do predict that for you, Pisces, this is the time that a wonderful career opportunity will be coming your way. It will be in your sign for two years, so know that something wonderful is going to happen to you. Sounds good to me. <laughs> good morning. Yes, good morning. I'm Mr. Billy Jackson. Uh, my birthday. What is your astrological sign? We we got a little broken up there. Uh, Capricorn. You're a Capricorn. There are major changes going around this year for Capricorns. Um, you have a, a, a Uranus Neptune lineup in your sign right now, which is creating changes in career, changes around governmental issues and or career, uh, military effects. In other words, there might be someone around and about you at this particular time, either joining the military, coming home for the military, or joining some military functions in some particular way. I can tell you that there is uh, um, uh, changes within medication, changes within chemicals. This may be a year finding you working around those fluid types of things. And also, this brings, a, brings about musical change within you as well. This might be a year, for example, that you would very, very often gravitate to issues of music. Um, I am seeing that there will be foundation rattles and shakes for you this year as your foundation is a little bit threatened, but don't worry. You Capricorns have a tendency to really hang in there. You're very strong signs, very wonderful signs. Um, know that this is the year, for example, that areas of your teeth may have to be uh, taken care of. Areas of your bones and your back will come into focus this particular year. Thank you very much for calling us. Let's go back to the phone line. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Fine. My birthday is on February 7th, Okay. An Aquarius. And I'm glad that you had called in because today Saturn, uh, who has been uh, the, the planet's the teacher, has been sitting in your sign for two years, two long years. And I will tell you, this has affected the areas of your friendship. And, of course, for you Aquarius people, friends mean everything. Your group sphere is everything to you. Um, I will tell you that some of your friends might have fallen by the wayside this particular segment. And, of course, you were grappling to find out, excuse me, who was going to actually be close to you. But I will tell you that that planet has moved out now. So breathe uh, uh, the fresh air and know that a burden has been lifted off of your shoulders. 
Also, career changes that you might have encountered this particular year that might have been a little rough on you are now going to straighten out. Again, your sign at this particular point is at least a little free from those particular uh, uh, atmospheres and know that at least now you're going to have some light and glow. Thank you very much for calling us. Our talk back number is 822-1204. What have, uh, what have you uh, uh, said about the weather conditions for this summer? Do we expect the conditions to be like they are now? Uh, do we expect more rain or just what? No, actually when I did my weather forecast uh, at the end of last year, I had already gone through the months to see that we were going to have a lot of sunshine this year higher than normal temperatures. Mm -hmm. I do believe that we are going to have a very wonderful long summer this year, and I will say that it's going to go right up into October, so know that we're going to have a normal summer, because last year it did rain a lot. I'm not predicting that much rain this year. I am predicting hotter temperatures, higher humidity, I believe, that you're going to see. Again, Mars is still in Leo, and this is definitely activating our warmer weather. Know that even up until June 23rd, it's going to keep getting warmer and keep getting warmer. And I feel already we've even had an early spring and, and a wonderful spring. At least we've had one this year. That's yeah, true. So, <laughs> at least it's going to be wonderful this year. So get out and enjoy. Make your plans, your travel plans, and, and, and gardening plans, because that's going to be the thing now, gardening, getting out and doing all that wonderful mm -hmm. stuff. But enjoy it. Okay, let's go back to the phone line. Good morning. Yes, hi. Could you tell me what's going on in Sagittarius people are going to have some wonderful upliftings now in the next year, a year and a half. Uh, Sagittarius and also the sign of Libra will cover that while I'm talking to you because you have your uh, planet's ruler, which is Jupiter, okay, going direct June 1st in a wonderful sign of Libra. This is going to institute for you inheritance, legal windfalls. Uh, uh, an upswing in business opportunities. In other words, if you've had, and I know some Sagittarius people have had some problems with career and job changes, it's working up. This is also a time for marriage, and I know you Sagittarius people are very hard to nail down, but this is the year that you would definitely decide upon a relationship or moving into a permanent relationship. So take that with you and know you have some wonderful things coming your way. And caller, thank you for calling us. We're going to take a brief break, and we're going to be back on Daybreak with more from Linda Crystal.